What's going on there folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here, jumping in with a quick update video on this uh, Wednesday evening. It is September 15th, 2021 is the date, uh, about 10.44 p.m. West Coast time in California. Latest quake on the globe is a 5.0 earthquake right around the South Sandwich Islands. Once again, looks like a little uptick in earth earthquake activity over the last couple days within that region. Let's go ahead and check out some details on the map here from the USGS folks showing all that earthquake activity kind of ramping up down there around the subduction zone into the trench region of the South Sandwich Trench, mostly confined down here to the southern end. Uh, somewhat deep earthquake activity, 35 kilometers for that uh, 5.0 that just struck. A little bit of further movement back up towards the trench area and also a little earthquake up here to the north. Haven't really seen too much um, activity in this region, South Georgia area. You can see that uh, about 12 kilometers or so just within that, uh, oh, the Scotia plate. What else we got here? South America region. A little bit of activity once again. Uh, yeah, right into the, uh, man, looking at this activity here. Pretty, uh, pretty deep movement in a cluster of quakes all 100, 200 kilometers into the subduction zone, Peru Chile Trench area. It's been kind of active over the last uh, couple days or so. Of course, we did have some uh, further activity around the uh, Argentina region over the last week or so. A little bit larger movement. There's that 6.2 that struck, but still seeing a lot of deep movement into the trench area. So I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't doubt it. We see something a little bit more significant here. Uh, with the buildup of pressure very soon in that area of South America. Uh, Puerto Rico area seeing a little bit of uptick in activity once again as well around the Puerto Rico Trench and also the southwest area of Puerto Rico. There's one right smack dab on the trench, 3.9, 44 kilometers down there. And also a little, little one back up further at the surface, 3.4 uh, in the Puerto Rico area. Check out this movement in Oklahoma. This place is always rocking. Rocking and rolling out there around Quinton, Oklahoma. Oklahoma City, just to the northeast of Oklahoma City, north of Shawnee. Uh, out there in the uh, Oklahoma land. Also in it, seeing a little bit of activity. 2.3, most of this activity I'm guessing is probably gonna be some uh, fracking operations. Quarry blast up here to the north. Uh, Quinton though, definitely uh, been a little hot spot of activity in that region for quite some time. It is kind of around the Ozark Plateau area, kind of stretching over here towards the New Madrid, where we had a 2.2 at 60 uh, at 6.4 kilometers below the surface. West Coast ramping up. Look at Texas, very quiet today. No movement around the Pecos, Texas area. Most of the activity been into California, San Francisco southward, watching swarm of activity along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. See these earthquakes around Parkfield, up and down the San Andreas Fault showing some activity, uh, including some movement around Palmdale. This area southward is the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. This uh, point, uh, what is it, 1.3 near Pier Blossom, 27 kilometers struck right on the San Andreas Fault, way down there too. 27 kilometers is somewhat deep, so got to watch that area, right? Eventually, this thing's going to pop. That's a doubt. I mean, that's a that's a given. It's not going to just stay that way forever. It's going to pop one of these days, and uh, who knows when? It's been quite uh, quite quite a bit of long time coming since we've had a big one on the southern branch, uh, central and northern. Yes, we've had recent quakes, but uh, down here, just uh, man, it keeps building up, building up. Murrieta getting in on some action activity or earthquake activity as well in the red circles over the last hour. San Jacinto Fault area, active. Salton Sea, pretty quiet. I don't see any swarming activity on the Brawley Seismic Zone or the Imperial Branch. Looks pretty quiet down in that region. Uh, Antelope Valley, uh, and also areas around Long Valley Super Volcano still getting in on some microquake activity. Uh, into the Pacific Northwest, a trail of activity once again along the Cascades. Uh, just north of uh, Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier. Intermountain West, somewhat quiet in through the Idaho region. Yellowstone, pretty quiet. Go ahead and check out the Yellowstone thumbnails real quick. My throat's kind of 
tickling a little bit. Uh, let's see here. It looks pretty quiet. Don't see any movement, uh, any type of tremor. Looks pretty absent of any type of earthquake activity at, at that. Yeah, looking pretty quiet there at Yellowstone National Park for now. Um, Alaska still getting in a lot of activity here in the uh, north of Anchorage region around Fairbanks. And also the Aleutian Trench here showing a little bit of microquake activity. We still remain very quiet and ominous here along the northwestern part and western uh, areas of the Pacific Ring of Fire into the uh, Philippi Philippine Plate. Uh, there was a little earthquake out here, 4.3 in the Philippines, but uh, man, that's, that's pretty quiet. China had a 5.4 earlier, originally a 5.9, I think a 6.0. Um, by the EMSC, that got dropped down dramatically to 5.4 from the USGS. And also some activity here south of the Fiji Islands with a super, super deep 4.1 at 537 kilometers and a cluster of quakes into the Kermadec Trench. Uh, largest one's gonna be a 5.1 in that area. We did have a little bit of movement out in the Atlantic area, north of the Ascension Island, 5.2, 10 kilometers into this uh, uh, Mid-Atlantic Ridge area, it looks like, north of there. <clears throat> area is here to the east around the Mediterranean, fairly quiet, just 4.2 around the Albania area. What else we got here on Trimmer map? Let's check this out into the Pacific Northwest. 86 epicenters of Trimmer once again into Northern California. Last night, we had this activity ramping up down here a little bit further south at the very end. So now we're looking at a little pause in the subduction here with some back building up to the north and a little bit further to the west uh, up towards the locked section of the Cascadia. Some movement also stretching up into parts of Oregon with a total of, what do we got, 86 trimmers being recorded today in the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, far as solar activity goes, the sun spots are diminishing, or at least they're turning away from Earth. We can just barely see a couple over here on this image. Most of the activity facing us is just a couple small coronal holes and one up here to the north. Maybe some sun spots way on the far end uh, on the horizon of the sun, possibly turning towards us. We'll get a better look at that here. We'll get a better look at that here in a couple days as those uh, sunspots turn around. Uh, only a 1% chance of a sea flare, very minimal. So not a whole lot going on in the sun, at least for the face, uh, at least the earth facing side, folks, pretty quiet. All right, I'm gonna jump off here, folks, kinda, kinda feeling a little bit of the spicy noodle challenge earlier. That was pretty awesome. Missy Mimi's completed it. She completely ate the entire bowl of the spi two times spicy noodles. It was a little bit hotter than I had planned, folks. And it didn't help drinking a half a gallon of milk in a short amount of time. It kind of made me, uh, it made it worse. I should have just kept eating and not stop and think about it. I've seen a couple comments. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, some of them are pretty funny, let me tell you. I almost, uh, I almost upchucked a couple times, but luckily I kept it down. So anyway. Uh, thanks, thanks for everyone uh, for tuning in, and congratulations to Missy Mimi's. She's a tough one, a good person for sure, and uh, she completed that challenge without uh, without any hiccups. All right, folks, have a good night. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.